1985, nearly drown. 1987, touched by Dumbo. 1991, whatever that was. 1995, nearly drowns again. My name is Tommy Southgate. As you can see, I'm just an unlucky guy. I'm about to go on a journey to see if I can change all that, testing my findings by placing my entire life savings on one single bet. First up though, I need to place a small wager just to see where my luck currently stands, and where better to do that than the Cheltenham Festival. Been looking for all the horses here and we've got one martello tower now that is actually a monument in seaford where i'm from it's a big sort of old uh, like naval barricade with a cannon on top and that is like one of our biggest landmarks so martello tower 330 at Cheltenham. it's about 25 to 1 something like that i'm going to think positive and that is going to be the one that's the one i'm going to do <laughs> well, that was worth absolutely nothing. How much positive thinking went into that? I actually thought I was going to win as well. I actually thought I was going to win. Couldn't thought any more positive about that. Well, we're going to have to chase it, aren't we? Well, we're giving up gambling. That's for sure. No good at this. First stop is London, where I've been invited by mind coach and expert in luck, Dr. Stephen Simpson. During our hypnotherapy session, Dr. Simpson took me back to a place where I felt at my most confident, which for me is the tennis court. Once brimming with positivity, he asked me to channel that energy into an everyday item I could carry around with me at all times. And my final question that I left you with, which was a little bit open-ended, was how are you going to use it? Yeah. What thoughts? What are your initial thoughts? Yeah, so what I thought I could do is, um, I thought I could maybe look on, on the internet or something or get myself like a, a red tennis racket key ring or something so I can put that on my keys. Yeah. And then that is obviously always going to be on me and you know every time I get my keys out and stuff like that, that would be there and a reminder of sort of take me back into that sort of, Headspace. So Tommy, you've just come out of there. Mm. How do you feel? Yeah, I feel good. Really strangely good because I wasn't. I got to be honest. I wasn't too. I wasn't too sure what to expect from today. Is that good in a lucky way? Or? Well, I guess time's going to tell. But I, I've left there. Like, and I don't. You know, I wasn't feeling particularly sort of you know negative or anything like that when I went in. But I've come out feeling a lot more positive. There's a very interesting backstory to this piece. Uh, Tommy had uh, contacted Paul McKenna to ask if he would be interviewed on the subject of luck. And Paul was travelling at that time and he knew that I was interested in luck. We'd had many discussions about it. So he gave them my contact details. So Tommy got in touch and eventually a couple of months later uh, the film crew arrived and I was expecting to do an interview about luck, which is something that I do very regularly. So this was a relatively uh, easy task for me. But just before we were to start filming, the director took me to one side and he said, uh, Steve, I'd like you to help Tommy if you can. I said, well, I'll do my best. What's the problem? And he said, well, Tommy really is about the most unlucky person that I've ever met. Just over the last 12 months, he's had a major abdominal surgery because of cancer. In fact, he had two major operations, which took a long time to get over and were very emotionally uh, upsetting for him. And then he was uh, knocked over by a car and broke his ankle. And just when he was getting better from that, he was diagnosed with a cancer in the eye, which fortunately wasn't too serious, but it did require an operation under local anaesthetic. And Tommy has a phobia about being touched 
in the eye. And so he, even now he has post-traumatic stress associated with it, a degree of post-traumatic stress. So instead of having a simple interview, I was thrown into a live therapeutic intervention. And that's what this piece is about. Now, what about the results of our work together? Well, a couple of days after filming, I had a note from Tommy. He said, I think the tide is at last beginning to turn. I was unpacking my camera bag and in one of the small pockets, I discovered a hundred dollar bill which uh, has probably been there at least two years. Well, that was a good start, and I didn't hear anything again uh, until uh, a month later. And he said, uh, you remember I told you I was going to go travelling into Southeast Asia next year and do some filming? He said, well, guess what? I've just been given a full grant for it, which will cover most of my travel expenses. And, of course, he's absolutely thrilled by that. Now, did all this happen as a result of our work together? None of us know. We can't answer questions like that. But uh, I know, and I'm sure you would agree, that we all wish Tommy the best. And uh, he's obviously got a bright future ahead of him as a uh, producer, and I think probably as a presenter too. So um, I'm quite sure he's going to enjoy the next year at least. <laughs> One, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Back on 